so I'm going to show you how to create a brand board for your blog using Canva. Um, we're going to start by clicking create a design. And then all these different options will pop up. I like to use the infographic right here because it's super long and it looks really good on Pinterest if I want to pin it to Pinterest. But it also gives me enough room to include everything that I want to on my brand board. Okay, so before we start, you're going to need four things for your brand board. And you're going to need a logo, your brand colors and HTML codes, um, some inspiration photos that um, can give you some inspiration of what's on brand. So just pictures that have your colors in them and give off a vibe and feel that you want your blog to feel like. And then lastly, you're going to need your fonts that you're going to use within your blog. Okay, so to start, I'm going to upload my logo. I've already uploaded it here. So this one, I'm just going to drag it over. Make it a little bit bigger. And voila, first step done. So what I'm going to do now is create a divider between everything. So I'm going to put this one in here, drag it over, make it real long. doesn't really matter if you go outside the lines at all. And then I'm going to change this color into just a really light gray so that you can see but it doesn't distract from my brand. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to my colors. And for that, I'm going to click on the shapes here over in the elements. And I'm going to choose this curved edge um, square. I'm going to make it smaller. Maybe zoom in here a little more. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. Okay, so I'll reshape this really quick. And then I'm going to make six of these because I have seven main colors that I go off of. One of them is white though, and so I'll show you how I'm going to do white here. Just going to space them equally. Maybe just make these a little bit skinnier. Let's see. I'm going to delete these real quick. You can just click them and then click the delete bar to delete something. Hopefully these are a little bit skinnier. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You don't have to use this shape. I just specifically like to use this shape, but you can do whatever shape you would like, like circles or triangles. I feel like this one just looks like, you know, color swatch, something that isn't too distracting, but you get a good idea of what my colors are. Okay, and then I'm going for my white color. I'm going to use the same, um, the same shape, just with this hollow edge, so that I have a, I guess, a border around my white. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see it. I just made that the same size. I'm gonna move it on over here. I guess we'll start with our white. I'm going to change it just to this. Well, let's go here. Take a look at the white. Uh, I don't want it to be too distracting here. So I'm just going to move it a little bit further down the scale. 
just enough so that you can see the border, but it doesn't look like another color. So that is my white. This is actually the lovely pink color that I do use in my brand. And so we're going to move over to this edge. One of my colors is black. Another one is a deeper gray. And this is where you're going to plug in those um, HTML codes so that you get exactly the same color that you use on your blog. And then I also use a lighter gray. Um, I include a blue color. Then I also have there we go. Okay, so now I have all of my colors on here. Uh, you know, blacks, my grays, I have my white, and then my few pastel colors that I do use. And so I want to be able to see their HTML codes under them, so it's a quick resource for me if I forget the colors, hence like I do with this one all of the time. I'm just going to click and drag this little bit of text. I'm going to make it just as wide as my graphic. And then I am going to I am going to paste in or type in their um, HTML codes. Let's first, sorry, move it over to the left. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So that that code just stays right under who it's supposed to be under. Let's go with eight, maybe. Okay. And then I mean, I just add a few spaces to get the proper spacing between each color. Okay, and then you can leave your codes just like that, but I like it to match my fonts a little bit. And they don't have the exact font that I use here, um, but I'll use something very similar. Okay, I'm going to add a few more spaces just to get it right under. And you don't have to get it right under, it really doesn't matter. But this way it's a quick something I can glance at and see exactly what color my friend includes. Okay, so next I'm just going to go back to my elements, close my shapes, go back to my lines, and I'm going to add another little divider here. You can change your, your divider colors to whatever you want. The gray works for me because it's one of my brand colors and it's light enough that it doesn't distract from anything. Okay, next I like to include a few of my inspiration pictures here. This is one of my very favorite pictures. You can just upload yours by clicking this image and uploading the pictures that you have saved to your computer. Um. Most of mine I kind of just pulled right off Pinterest. This board isn't for anybody but me. And so I've just um, downloaded a few of those pictures from there. How cute is that pull, right? Just kind of get a little collage going up in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
I love this stone. It even has like a little pinky hue to it, the picture. This is one of my own pictures. It is always great if you can just use the pictures you already have for your blog. Can you do it this way? Let's see how that goes. I love this light and airy look of this photo and it includes my colors. Um, I'm gonna add this one. Okay, so for this image, I don't want the entire picture because I feel like just a snippet of it would give a better, it would be closer to my palette that I have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click crop. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to click the check. I'm gonna fit this bad boy right in here. Let's see. I'm gonna, you can double click it to open up the cropper again. I'm gonna make it a little bit skinnier just so that I could make it a little bit better. Right in there. So it's in, okay. So now with this bottom area that I have here, I'm going to add yet again another divider. Make it that gray color. And then I'm going to, okay, so there's two ways you can do this font section. If Canva has your fonts, you can just click on the text option like we did before. You can click a heading or subheading, it really doesn't matter. Go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and move it to the bottom. If it wants to move to the bottom. There we go. Come on, there we go. Move it to the bottom, resize it, add in whatever font that you would like and then save go from there but for me Canva doesn't have my exact fonts that I want so I'm going to trash that and then I have actually gone into just a word document I have typed in my font name using that font and then I just took a little screenshot by clicking um, command shift four. It lets you click and drag and take a little screenshot and then I uploaded it here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that over and that way I know exactly, these are exactly my fonts. Um, have their names and everything. Put that right smack in the middle. Definitely not the middle. Where's the middle? Voila. So I have my three fonts here that I use on my blog. I have my inspiration photos. I have all my swatches of all the colors I use. And then I have my logo here at the top. And that is how I make my brand board. When you're done with yours, all you have to do is click download. Um, I recommend just keeping it in the PNG. I feel like it's worked for me. It's been easy. Um, you can also click a transparent background. That will mean that this white area will be gone. Um, just the images and the colors will be there. Um, and then you can click download. It'll save it right to your computer. Da -da -da -da. Load, little design, load. And there you have your 
brand board. You can rename it whatever you would like. I'll just name mine Life on Waller Brand Board. Then it's saved on your computer. And that is how you make your very own brand board for your blog using Canva.